electric videos. So if you've seen the previous video on my channel regarding the uh, concentration of deuterium and the enrichment of heavy water, you'll see that now I have actually set up a proper long-term uh, processing station. Now I've actually set this up in the bathroom of my dorm room. Uh, for one reason, I just wanted it to be a project that I could keep up with and periodically check on uh, it at my at my dorm and at college. And additionally, this ventilation uh, fan, which is actually primarily intended to ventilate odors out of the bathroom, makes a perfect substitute for a hydrogen ventilation system to prevent excess hydrogen from building up in the space. Now, because hydrogen is such an incredibly light gas, it should float up and out of the electrolysis chamber and be safely evacuated from the room to the outside world uh, where it will disperse in the atmosphere and eventually catalytically recombine to form water. Now, as you can see, I've done a bit of stylistic uh, adjustment to my setup. I spray painted the uh, wooden holder for the two electrodes black, and I added a couple of LED lights uh, to the underside of the uh, wooden holder just to make it a little bit more uh, sciency looking if I have friends over to take a look at this project. You can see also I put it inside an external uh, glass vessel. That's to make sure if the glass breaks or if it spills over or boils for any reason, it won't spill sodium hydroxide solution all over the laminate flooring. Now you might be asking, how am I powering this? Well, I'm driving about 5.7 amps or roughly about 60 uh, or 70 watts, somewhere in between there, through a couple of uh, cables which I have running to an inline fuse, might be hard to see on the camera, but uh, this inline fuse is rated to 15 amps and it's uh, just there to protect against severe overload in the event that uh, the solution suddenly becomes more conductive. I have it running outside the bathroom uh, to my benchtop power supply, or rather my upgraded benchtop power supply here. This power supply is uh, basically built out of an old computer power supply. I took it out of service from uh, using the uh, use in a computer because some of the capacitors, as you can see here, have bulged, which is not a good thing for low ripple DC output. But I basically set up a power supply with uh, taps at 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, minus 12 volts, and of course the ground common. And I've also put on some LEDs so I can monitor which rails are operating. But enough about this uh, power supply. Uh, I might cover that in a future video. Uh, it's certainly an interesting piece of hardware. I've got a fan on top of it keeping it cool. But this video is about my electrolysis and my enrichment of deuterium. So back to the electrolysis and enrichment of deuterium in here. You may ask, uh, how did my experiment go in terms of the uh, exact setup conditions that I showed you in the first video? Uh, did I use the same amount of sodium hydroxide? Uh, do I have the same amount of current flowing, etc.? Well, in order to reach my target current of uh, 5 amps, or a little over that, I actually had to significantly decrease the concentration of uh, sodium hydroxide in solution. Uh, I started out with 14 grams, as I had estimated before, and it actually uh, was drawing so much power, it was drawing over uh, 8 amps, almost 9 amps. Now I suspect that the reason for this discrepancy was actually to do with uh, me not fully mixing the sodium hydroxide and dissolving it in the solution when I was testing it on the bench before. So I performed a double dilution. I uh, poured out a third of the uh, solution, added more distilled water, and then I did it again, poured out another third of the solution and added more distilled water, uh, meaning that this solution currently contains about 6.2 grams of sodium hydroxide rather than the originally uh, expected 14. And according to my multimeter test earlier today, it draws roughly uh, 5.7 amps, as I mentioned earlier, which is about a good target. Uh, it keeps it from overheating too much, it is uh, quite hot at the moment. If it continues to increase in temperature to the point where it's getting close to boiling the water, I may actually fill the external vessel partway up with water as a cooling bath to increase the cooling surface area. 
So there you have it. I will probably do an update video if uh, I eventually manage to electrolyze my goal of two gallons worth of distilled water, or if something goes wrong or if my electrodes get eaten up. I'll also make a follow-up video to tell you what went wrong and how I might avoid it in the future. But uh, hopefully with all uh, any luck, I will be able to recover a fair bit of deuterium from this setup in the future. I'm John with Dielectric Videos, and I will see you next time.